Okay. Good morning, everyone. Anong shot? Shot as in shoot or sure. shot? Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung ibig sabihin ng shot eh. Alright. Bakit may klase tayo ngayon? Kala ko walang PLDT. Sabi... Kaya ka siya nagre-reklamo na ako. Ha? Ah, bukas mo ba? Reklamo na ako. <laughs> bukas mo pala. <laughs> Pero, sabi hanggang Wednesday? So, ibig sabihin, walang klase hanggang Wednesday? Aww. That's sad. Aww. <laughs> Eh, ko sa inyo. Para namang hindi kayo sad <laughs> sa balita na yun. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, make the most out of our uh, <laughs> remaining remaining uh, connections with our uh, server, okay, internet provider. Okay, the, the last thing that we talk about is privacy, right? So now, let's talk about protection of minor. Can anyone read? Also have this in your uh, in your analogy. Um, burial or rancho? Rancho <laughs> dalam <laughs> chair. Oh, sige. Oh, rancho. Ikaw daw. Uh, next one, si Beryl. Protection of minors. The intention is to seek to protect children from materials which will or could damage them morally, psychologically, or physically. What this means in practice is that adult material cannot be shown or aired when children are likely to be watching or listening. But what is adult material? This will vary from culture to culture. All right. So, uh, adult material. So, alam nyo naman yan, di ba? <laughs> That's pornography. Okay? Actually, here, uh, if you're living here in Marikina, um, Pornography, watching porns are illegal, okay? And if someone caught you, you're watching porn, you can go to DSWD, uh, the tiny jail for the young people, okay? Uh, DSWD. And uh, I just happened that I saw that uh, ordinance here in Marikina that it really exists, okay? <laughs> Watching pornography is a crime. So, if you'll be watching adult materials, make sure na kayo lang. <laughs> kayo lang ang nanonood. Okay? Walang ibang kasama na magsusumbong sa inyo. Okay? So, that's uh, protection of minors. Uh, a TV broadcast must be careful in airing informa information that may damage children, morality, physically, and psychologically, that's why if there are uh, raids, diba? sa mga sa mga news, uh, blurred yung mga faces na mga children, diba? Kaya that's that's the protection of minors. Okay. Now, next one: protection against crime and disorder. Beryl. Protection against crime and disorder. Crime should always be condemned. When required by the story, care should be taken in its presentation in order to minimize or eliminate the inducement to commit crime and to cause disorder in the country. Ah, big words. Disorder in the country, diwa. Yes, uh, protection against crime and disorder. This, this is uh, this one of the things that is really uh, prevalent when it comes to broadcasting. Yeah? Um, because a, a TV broadcast must be careful in airing information uh, that may be critical to uh, critical of the government, uh, most especially if they have this by bus operations yeah? or yung, yung mga, mga criminal investigations not to... to uh, not to ruin the cover-up of the police operations. Now, we'll be talking about the ethical standards, not just the legal, also for the morals of the people that, that we'll be uh, talking about. Uh, can anyone would like to read about the truth and accuracy? 
Yeah. Sino yung unang nagtaas ng kamay? <laughs> Hindi ko agad nakita. <laughs> oh, sige, ito na lang. Uh, let's hear Charlize. Charlize? Charlize? Sure, easy na lang. <laughs> uh, easy na lang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Truth and accuracy. A TV broadcast cannot always guarantee truth, but getting the facts right is one of the ethical standards of TV broadcasting. You should always strive for accuracy, give all relevant facts it has, and ensure that they have been checked. Okay, thank you very much, Ishi. So, uh, a TV broadcast must always strive for accuracy. Okay, um, it should be factual. So, uh, that's what um, journalism is all about. Okay. Uh, it's different from from showbiz uh, programs, right? Because in showbiz, kailangan uh, mas spicy, mas enticing yung uh, lalo na yung title of the of the segment, mas attractive sa sa mga viewers, right? But in journalism, uh, you know, kahit na boring, still it should be factual. That's the most important thing: uh, truth and accuracy. Okay, next is independence. Kung sino mag-test ng kamay. Okay, um, Anne, Denise. Independence. A, t- a TV broadcast must have an independence voice. It should not act formally or informally on behalf of special interest, whether political, cor- corporate, or cultural. Cultural, we should declare to our editors or the audience any of our political affiliations, financial ar- arrangements, or other personal information that might constitute conflict of, of interest. All right, thank you very much, Denise. Um, a TV broadcast must not act on behalf of political interest. Meron ba nangyayari ngayon ganyan dito sa Pilipinas? The question is, do you think uh, this has something to do with the shutting down of ABS-CBN. Yeah? Why? Why do you think so? What's the connection between ABS-CBN and the government and the reason of its uh, shutdown? It says here, uh, a TV broadcast must be independent, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maka ABS-CBN kayo. Okay, um... Actually, ako, wala, wala naman akong favorite network eh. Uh, ang favorite network ko, Disney Junior. Alam nyo na, di ba? Yun ang laging pinapanood dito sa bahay. <laughs> I, I, I have nothing against ABS-CBN. Okay? But siguro, uh, as uh, I, I can see it, uh, masyadong naging uh, pabor ang ABS-CBN sa Liberal Party before. Di ba? During the campaign period. That's why President Duterte, when he won, uh, he told at his very first speech na since matatapos na yung renewal ng, uh, I mean, uh, franchise ng ABS-CBN, di ba? Sabi niya, he will do anything not to renew, not to let ABS-CBN renew its franchise. Uh, it's like saying na since you are dealing much with a party, a political party, Oh, ito. Uh, there's a revenge. Di ba? Kaya lang, uh, yun nga lang, it just happened that uh, the government is do is using its power naman. Di ba? Uh, that's kind of, hindi, not kind of bad. Uh, it's really bad. Di ba? If the government is using its power, uh, authority to shut down uh, an enterprise. Di ba? It's a business. That's why it, it affected uh, almost uh, 11,000 people and now they are employed. So now, next is fairness and impart. Hannah, are you raising your hand or just... <laughs> uh, okay, oh, you want to read. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fairness and impartiality refers to the state of unbiasedness. Most, story ha- most stories have at least two sides, but there is no obligation to present every side in every piece. Stories should be balanced and add context. Objectivity is not always possible and may not always be desirable. In the face, for example, of brutality or inhumanity, but impartial, but impartial reporting builds trust and confidence. All right. So uh, that's fairness and impar- impartiality. Uh, must be balanced. Okay. Uh, kailangan two sides 
if you're the reporter, if you're investigating something, kailangan both parties, two sides, ang uh, i-interviewin ninyo para walang ulang bias or uh, in, in fairness sa, sa magiging story. Next is humanity. Uh, Arden, next will be Cyrus kasi magkasunod kayo nagtaas ng kamay. Humanity. Humanity is the state of being humane and compassionate. A TV broadcast should not, do not harm. What is broadcast may be hurtful, but it should be aware of the impact of words and images on the lives of others. All right. Um, this one is hard to implement because uh, most especially if, uh, for example, uh, a rape case, right? Uh, or, or someone uh, is being murdered or there's a suicide. For example, yung, yung, uh, earlier, we talked about the, you know, this one, fairness and impartiality. And then uh, we'll combine it with humanity. Diba? Uh, merong masasagasaan. For example, yung pamilya na namatayan. Diba? Or yung pamilya na, na, na abuso. Or the, the, the victim side. Diba? Uh, and also... Kung, kung, uh, it will be taking consideration of the um, yung privacy then as well. Iba? Kaya there's really a lot to consider with regards to standards of uh, broadcasting. Okay, so again, uh, humanity, uh, a TV broadcast must not do any harm to anyone. Okay, next. Next to uh, Cyrus. Hey. Um, pwede ko po mag-live saglit. Hindi ko po kasi nakikita yung nire-report mo. Ay, hindi oh, yeah. sige, sige. It's okay. Go on. Sure, okay na po. Alright. Accountability. This is the condition of being accountable and responsible. The TV company or program is accountable to everything it broadcasts. When a TV broadcast commit errors, it must correct them and its expression of regret must be sincere, not cynical. It listens to the concerns of our audience. It may not change what readers write or say, but it will always provide remedies when it is unfair. Alright. So, uh, ethical accountability, TV broadcast must express regrets when it commits mistake. Actually, madaming ganyan sa lalong lalo na. Um, not in the mainstream of uh, journalism of broadcasting but sa sa online dito sa facebook right uh, there are a lot of mistakes that's uh, been happening of course um all of the tv networks wants to be the first right uh, they will always want to be the first to broadcast yung mga nakikita natin yung mga news flash breaking news but most of the posts or the reports are may merong mga mali. That's why, uh, lalong-lalo na sa CNN, sa CNN parang ang dalas kong makakita ng ganun eh. But, but still, uh, that's a good thing about CNN. They always, uh, okay, uh, they, they always uh, say sorry naman na, na nagkamali sila. Alright? Okay, so that's one of the ethicals. And the last of the standards, is the accountability. Okay, now let's uh, have a review in your own words. Uh, Beryl. Copyright is an ex uh, exclusive legal right of a certain material. Okay, yes. Um, the keyword there should be uh, a TV broadcast must be careful in using uh, yeah, uh, property, intellectual property rights, right? So literary works, Musical compositions, all right? Uh, gaya ng uh, sinabi ko kahapon na starting October, Facebook will be blocking all of the streamings of, you know, uh, music using music of, of uh, other composers, all right? Okay. Next one, uh, under the legal standards, defamation and slander. Wala nagtataas ng kamay. <laughs> Defamation and... Okay, uh, Cyrus. Siya yun po yung mga ano, yung mga nakakasakit ng repu reputation ng ibang tao, ng ibang karakter. Dahil... Mm -hmm. Nansaktan ko, Cyrus. 
Chair? Nasaktan ka na ba? Opo, Chair. <laughs> okay, so makaka-relate ka dito, di ba? Uh, legal defamation and slander, so you mu must be careful in making statements. Statements that will affect the uh, a person or an institution. Okay? So always be careful in making your statements. Next one is privacy. Ay, uh, sorry. Hindi ako, nakatingin ako dito sa mga icons eh. Uh, Hannah. Sir, yun po yung ano, yung ano yung may lo, lo, may lo po na ganun yung privacy yung public information natin katulad yung sa Facebook ganun ganun inaano po yun para maging safe yung ating mga personal information all right yes um so uh there's a balance okay uh, a balance between the inyata yung sinabi ko kahapon a balance between uh human rights against the public's right to to know di ba uh, gaya yung sinabi ko kahapon uh, in 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 terms of privacy uh, legal privacy um, all of us chismosos and chismosas want to wants to know the lifestyle of uh, of an actress an an actor di ba but their uh, right to privacy uh, balances not for us to know everything about what's going on inside their house, inside their home. Okay, so that's privacy. Um, balance between uh, the citizen and the public's right to know. Okay, so that's privacy. Next is protection of minor. Beryl. Protection of minor seeks to protect children from adult materials that can, that could damage them morally, physiologically, and physically. All right, very good, very well said. So uh, that's uh, protection of minor, and then protection against crime and disorder. Uh, this one, uh, a TV broadcast must be careful in airing. Kasasabi lang kanina, uh, information that may damage children's morality, physical. Okay, uh, Ranjo. Protection of minor. And who can steal? Hannah. Legal protection of minor. Ayon. Okay, you must make your answer complete. Okay, or else the... The artificial intelligence of NMLZ <laughs> wouldn't we will not accept your answer. So okay, uh, let's have another one. Um, a TV broadcast must be uh, must be careful in literary works, musical compositions. Si no unang nagtaas na si si Anne Denise. Po, ano po? Copyright? Ang sasaya nila, oh. <laughs> Kasi kulang daw ang sagot mo, ah. Oh, Gabi? Legal copyright po. Ayun. Okay. Ganon dapat. Alright. Oh, another one. A TV broadcast must be careful in airing informa information that may be critical of the government. Diane, Diana. Ethical independence law. Mm, mm, oh John. <laughs> Ethical truth and accuracy po. Mm, again, ah, a TV broadcast must be careful in airing information that may be critical of the government. Yung sinampol ko, yung... Uh, Ariko, teka lang. Baka mabasag yun yung monitor. <laughs> uh, Anjali. <laughs> Sir, ano? Ethical. Ethical fairness and impartiality. Mm, mm, 
impartiality kasi um di ba a TV broadcast must be balanced okay that, that's impartiality uh, ethical fairness and impartiality uh, TV broadcast must be balanced and have at least two sides of the story oh Liam Sure, ethical accountability po um ethical accountability mm, hindi kasi di ba uh, that's when you commit your mistakes right that's ethical accountability rajo for legal deforma- defamation and slander um defamation and slander uh should be careful in making statements that will affect a person or an institution That's the legal defamation and slander. But this one, oh, ito na. Legal protection against crime and disorder. <laughs> Sayang! Eh, bakit hindi yun? <laughs> hindi kasi kayo ang tinawag ko, eh, no? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, that's the difference. Uh, again, legal defamation and slander, uh, that's being careful in making statements. Okay? Not to affect a person or an institution. All right? the the reputation of the of the institution okay okay now this one a tv broadcast must not act on behalf of political interests trenter mm. uh, ethical fairness and impartiality mm. who wants to help Uh, 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 Anjali. The ethical truth and accuracy. Mm. Cyrus must not act on behalf of political interests. It should. It is John. Sure, may sagot na po ako. Okay. Ethical in- independence. Ethical independence. You are correct. Ayan. Pasok ka sa finals. Okay. So, yun na. Ganon. Alright? So, kailangan kumpleto ang inyong sagot. Uh, whether it's legal or ethical. Kailangan kumpleto. Or else, again, mababaliwala ang inyong sagot. Alright? So, any questions? Are you ready for the quiz? O postpone muna natin? Sure. May dash ba yun? Legal yes. dash? Uh, dash. Dash. So may ethical, space wala, sure. Ethical... Wala lang. Sample. Ito, <laughs> <laughs> ito ba eh? Ito, wala lang. Parang ganito. Ay, ngayon yung quiz? Oo oh, nga eh. Gusto nyo ba ngayon? For example, ethical dash accountability. Okay. Ganyan. Okay? Kahit, kahit may in... timer po? Actually, yes. May may timer. Uh, as long as you want. As long as you need just to finish this one. Pero siguro naman hindi kayo aabutin ng mga madaling araw, no? Para sagutan to. Uh. <laughs> yes, Liam. I don't know. Okay. Uh, eto, ganito na lang. Do you want to have the quiz now or next week na lang? Now. Now? now? Ngayon, ngayon, Cher, ngayon. Cher, matatakad kami okay. next week. Ito <laughs> pa ako. Uy, nag-edit pa ako. Okay, Wala, ayan ha. Ah. Ako na lang magsasagot. So, quiz 2.1. Cher, saan sa sagutan? Doon, doon mismo, sa NMLZ. Yes. Sa NMLZ. Chat me if you have questions. Ha? Matatapos na yata eh. Ah, oh, baka tayo pa. Are you not sure? Or mamaya hmm? sa asynchronous, pwede pa. Yes. Oh. Actually, Kasi right after this one, pwede nyo naman sagutan, if ever. Ah. Okay? Taka Pero lang. Pero ayan oh, lang po, tsaka yung right or wrong, yun sa sa...